It's giving luxury. It's giving expensive. This is giving soft life <laughs> for only $12.99. Hello gorgeous, welcome to my channel. My name is Kende, but most of my friends call me Kenny. In today's video, I'm going to give you the tea on where to shop for affordable fashion pieces, clothing, accessories, like shoes, bags, sunglasses, even perfumes. If this is something you're interested in, you can keep watching. I believe most of us want to look good, but not everyone has the budget for expensive things. I know I don't. You know, sometimes when you like something so much, either online or you're actually shopping in the store and you look at that tag and your bank account is like, nope, don't do it, don't do it. I hate when that happens, but you can look good with little money. It's just, you have to shop intentionally. Starting with clothing. The first places I'm gonna mention is TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record at this point, but I'll continue to sing their praises until the wheels fall off. TJ Maxx and Marshalls are places where you can get deals. Like you can't imagine the deals you can get at places like that. You can shop your basics. They have shoes, bags, good quality, depending on what you're willing to spend. Uh, sometimes they carry uh, designer pieces. And another thing you can do is make sure that when you're shopping, you go to the TJ Maxx and Marshalls in upper class neighborhoods, like uh, bougie white neighborhoods. <laughs> You want to do that because they carry better pieces and you'll be surprised you find designers and all sorts over there so start shopping at tj maxx and marshall's and nobody's gonna be able to tell a girl now another place where you can get fantastic dresses for less is nasty girl now nasty girl is a fast fashion brand it's almost like zara and h m it's just that it's cheaper way cheaper than zara but the quality is there you get the same about the same quality as Zara clothing, which I think is it's a steal. If you go online, you can get dresses for as low as fifteen to twenty dollars sometimes, especially if they have sales. And for original prices, you can get from thirty to forty dollars. Nice dresses. I'll make sure to insert dresses that I bought from Nasty Girl. Fantastic dresses. Nice dresses. Some of them I've worn. Some of them I haven't worn before. And the pieces that I haven't worn are ones that I'm interested and excited to pull out this spring and summer. Like I said, the one is going to be able to tell that your dress was $30. So try shopping from Nasty Girl. You can start with one to two pieces to see what the quality looks like. Of course, you want to be intentional. You just don't want to peek. You, when you're shopping, you want to look, you want to read what the what the, the dress is made of uh the materials the composition and all of that i think that's very important no matter where you're shopping from you always want to double check to make sure that you're buying quality material so if you're looking for affordable pieces yet elevated you might want to give this brand a try the next places where you can get affordable pieces with very good quality is sacks of fifth and also nostrum rack now, Saks of Fifth and Nostrum Rack are the stores, the outlet stores for Saks Fifth Avenue and Nostrum. So, they most, most times send pieces that they were unable to sell over at Saks of Fifth or stuff that have been in stock for too long and no one is really buying. And also stocks from last season, past season. So, if you're somebody who doesn't care when the dresses or any outfit came out, you should go over there and shop. They have an online store and they also have physical stores everywhere. But if you if you don't have one close to you, I'd say shop online. They have everything. And they have luxury items as well you can get for a fraction of the original price. I shop a lot at Saks of Faith and Nostrum Rack because I believe in quality. Um, sometimes you can get dresses for as low as $50. And I'm talking about dresses that were originally maybe sometimes $350, $400. To me, I think that's a steal. So you should really consider shopping from Saxo Cliff and Nostrum Rack. They have very good quality things for less. The next brand I think we all know about is H&M. H&M has the same quality as Zara, but they're way cheaper. So if you don't already shop from H&M, you should definitely give them a try. 
they have shirts for as low as twenty dollars jeans everything you can get very very inexpensive at least to me i know affordability is subjective so what's expensive to me might be cheap to you and what's cheap to me might seem expensive to you but at least give them a try go in there into the store or you can also shop online they have great quality pieces for less the next category is bag i feel like a lot of people wish they knew where to shop from but they have no idea girl i got you the first brand i'm going to talk about is charles and keith this brand has very good bags they're not leather they do carry leather bags but most of their bags are not made from real leather but no one is going to be able to tell a girl girl no one's going to check you no one's going to know because the bags don't even look like they're not leather and you can't see any hanging threads you can't see anything like that they look so good and because i practice what i preach i will show you guys some of the bags that i have from this brand i have about six bags from them and these bags are good this is the first bag i have from this brand as you can see it doesn't look like this was less than 70 dollars less than 70 dollars guys and they don't have like a big logo or anything like that so no one is going to be able to tell unless they look real closely the only place where they have their uh, brand name is on the side and it's not even anything crazy check this next bag out guys this is giving kelly this is giving <laughs> ms vibes and i'm here for it <laughs> like who's going to check you no one no one is going to check you girl no one is going to know what you're carrying and you're not trying to you know deceive people by letting them feel like you're carrying hermes who cares about that carry what you like in the only place as usual where they have their name is this little spot here but this is the front of the bag this is gorgeous look at this look at this i hope that you can see it well check this bag out this was less than ceremony dollars this is a jacket bag this is one that i'm excited super excited to carry this summer look at this the only place where they have the name is here less than 70 dollars guys do you see any hanging thread because i don't see any i'll show you one more look at that so if you're looking for trendy bags beautiful ones affordable bags you might want to give Charles and Keith a try. They're doing really good over there and I love all their bags. Next, we have perfumes. This is a category that I'm very excited about uh, because if you know me closely, you know that I love perfumes <laughs> and I can't seem to be able to stop. I have affordable perfumes, I have niche perfumes and designer ones. The first brand of perfume I think you should try out is Alexandria Perfume. Now, if you love Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but you cannot afford it. I would say go for uh, Fructus Virginis by Alexandria Perfume. The longevity on this one is even better than uh, Lost Cherry. This will last on you for hours and hours. You see, Lost Cherry will get lost on you within the first two hours of spring. And I'm not exaggerating. They go to the store and try Lost Cherry, spray it on your wrist and see if you'll still be able to smell it in another three hours. I mean, the audacity on Tom Ford thinking he can sell a perfume for $500 or maybe you can get the one ounce for about, I think, $360, which is crazy to me. This perfume will last on you hours and hours. The longevity, 10 over 10. And it's only $70 and it smells exactly the same as Lost Cherry. I am not kidding you guys. You want to give this a try. This is by Alexandra Perfumes and the name of the actual perfume is Fructose Virginis. Please, please try this out and you will thank me later. The next brands are Belayed and Juliana's Perfume. Let's talk about Belayed first. They carry different perfumes inspired by 
actual designer in niche perfumes so this one i have here is first kiss exclusive it is uh it's it's, it's inspired by the Lina exclusive by perfumes de mali this smells exactly exactly like the Lina. the Lina is i, I think the Lina is 320 dollars if i'm right this was about 50 something dollars it wasn't up to 60 dollars and you get 1.8 ounces this will last on me hours and hours guys i'm not even kidding you the longevity the siage people will keep asking what are you wearing what are you wearing i just tell them i'm wearing the lena exclusive who's gonna know no one is gonna know girl get yourself a belayered perfume this actual one that smells like the Lina exclusive is called First Cleats Exclusive. Go on their website and see what you can grab. Don't don't walk again. Run, run and check this out. This is perfect. Very feminine, long lasting. People are going to smell you. You're going to get a ton of compliments. You want to give this a try. Next is Juliana's perfume. This is another one that's supposed to be a dupe for the Lina exclusive. They smell exactly the same to be honest with you but i think the longevity of this one is better it might just be me maybe because i bought this first but this is also good it's just as good as this one i think that they're about the same price so you might want to check them out this is juliana's perfume inner beauty exclusive is what it's called these are dupes to perfume the mali's delina you might want to give these brands a try guy i'm not joking these are perfect last but not least we have sunglasses now let me just go straight to the point the places where you can get inspired by designers sunglasses are number one amazon amazon has been saving life since i don't know let me show you guys i believe this is a selling dupe let me just put it on for you to see what it looks like this is supposed to be a dupe for the selling sunglasses. I think those retail for, I don't know, maybe 500. I'm not sure, but I'll put the price on the screen. Um, but these, these were, I believe these were $12 on Amazon or maybe even 10. A lot of the influencers have this one and all of them keep singing the praises. And I was like, you know what? Let me give this a try. I went on Amazon, I got one for myself and I don't regret it. You see this summer, this summer, this sunglasses, don't sleep on this. I'm going to link it down below. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Give this a try. Next, I have the sunglasses I got from TJ Maxx. Now, the first one I have here is one that I've had since 2015. It's this gorgeous one I have here. Now, check this out. these are gorgeous now I have a lot of Ray-Ban sunglasses I used to be crazy about Ray-Ban most of them are aviators and now I feel like I'm facing out of that aviators category and I'm looking into getting more uh, wider framed sunglasses but these have been saving my life and I don't need to buy the expensive ones for now because these are just as good uh, maybe maybe when I do have the money, I'll go and grab myself some nice ones and I can get them for as low as 150 at Saks or Fifth. They carry designer sunglasses as well Beautiful ones for a fraction of the actual price So if you're looking to spend $120 $150 check Saks or Fifth and Nostrum Rack for designer sunglasses The next one is this one This is also from TJ Maxx this is a wider frame that I like because of the shape of my face. I think this suits me more. Um, this was $12.99. $12.99 from TJ Maxx. Tell me I don't look good. Is this good or is this good? It's good. It's giving luxury. It's giving expensive. This is giving soft life. For only $12.99. Listen, go to TJ Maxx, do yourself a favor, and look at the sunglasses. 
$12.99 girl or even if you don't want to go to TJ Maxx you can just go on Amazon they have a ton of very nice sunglasses that you can choose from the next category of shoes but I think I'll leave that until the next video where we'll talk about where you can get slightly pricier items than this ones I've mentioned today the ones I talked about today are more fast fashion brands but in the next video we'll talk about where you can even get better quality for less uh, if you're willing to spend a little more then you can get very very good items for less than hundred dollars in that video we'll talk about where you can get things like this very unique pieces for less than hundred dollars things like this we'll talk about shoes blacks clothes sunglasses that are better quality than some of the ones that we mentioned today so if that's something you're interested in make sure you're subscribed to the channel and if you've liked this video so far and you found it helpful be sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing we'd we'll love to have you here so stick around that'll be all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye bye